Hi everyone, this is Maria and this is my kitty cat, Sandy. Say hi, Sandy, to YouTube. She is so sweet. She just turned four months old. Anyways, you guys, I'm in the mood to make a DIY for Halloween. Look at this, this is really cute. It's a wooden coffin. It's made by Tim Holtz Ideology Vignette Coffin. It says here, for Creations Dimensional Mixed Media, and so it's got a little shelf here. It's a very light wood. And look at this. Let me just go ahead and turn this. It's stained. I'm just going to leave it that way. But you can do fancy things with it if you want. Maria does not do fancy things. I'm going to go through all of my Halloween stuff. I don't have a whole lot, but I think I have plenty to put something together. So I'm back, you guys. And I really am happy with how this vignette turned out in this little coffin box, this Tim Holtz coffin box. Look at this, it is so cute, I just love it. And it was a great way for me to use the rest of my little miniatures, my Halloween miniatures that I purchased at Michael's last year. I have these tiny little potion bottles, a little stack of spell books. Now these are from Michael's. Look at this little candle with the face, the spooky face, the candelabra. Now one of the candles did break off and I hot glued that back on there. And then the little totem of skulls here. And there's a little bird here, like a little raven. It's hard to see that. And then this little bone right here. Now that is not from Michael's and I'll show you in a second where I got that from. Same with these little skulls. On the top, you guys, you can see that I used some paper here, some Halloween paper. It's black with orange dots. I had some sequins and so I went ahead and hot glued those on there. And then I had this paper right here. And let me go ahead and show you where I got the paper. Here it is right here, you guys. I got this at Target in the dollar spot. And so the bottom half of the coffin has this paper here. And then I use this on top. I just really, really like this. And so those are the only two papers that I used. On the bottom half here, I used this paper doll cutout. It's made of cardboard. It's really thick and sturdy. And so that is also a Tim Holtz item. And she is so cute, this little vintage girl. And then this little jack-o'-lantern that she's holding, that came off of some trim that I've had forever too. The little witch's hat, it's a little felt witch's hat, came off of a little black clothespin that I had and the little witch's hat was on there. And I remember buying those at the Target dollar spot last year. And then also I had this little green paper here. I went ahead and used this. I found this in my stash because with the little girl against this paper, she really wasn't popping out. And so by using this green paper here, you can see her better. I also added some moss. I think I got that from the Dollar Tree. And a little broom here, this cute little broom with a spider on it. And then look at this little cat. This little cat also came from Michael's, I believe. And again, I think I mentioned these skulls were also from Target. And so I added some little trim around here. I got that from my Halloween stash. I've had it forever and I had just enough. And actually I put some underneath here. So this was the divider, the little shelf from the top here to the bottom of the coffin. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna add this instead. So I put this over it. And so it sort of breaks it up. Look on the back, you guys. I added some magnets from Joann's, the little ceramic magnets. I love these, they are really strong. And so I will be putting this on our refrigerator in the kitchen so I can enjoy this, you guys, throughout the Halloween season. And so, but anyways, let me go ahead and show you where I got some of these miniatures, like the bones, the skulls, and also the little broom and the spider. So this year in 2020 in the Target Bullseye area, they had these little glass potion bottle jars. And inside they have miniatures like bones. Look how cute these are. These were a dollar each. They had so many. I think there was like 20 different ones maybe. A lot, you guys, but I didn't need all of them, so I just picked out my favorite. And then I got this potion bottle of deadly spiders. Oh my gosh, look how many are in here. I better keep this lid on because I don't want all of these spiders to escape. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm terrified of spiders. But as long as I keep them in this potion bottle, I think we're okay. Also, the little broom came from one of these potion bottles. These are original witches brooms. Look at that. Oh my gosh, these are just way too cute and they were only a dollar. I just really, really love this. And so let's go put this on our refrigerator door. And I just realized, you guys, that I forgot to share the little potion bottle with the skulls, but basically it was the same type of little potion bottle. 
And so let's go ahead and place this on the refrigerator. And it has really strong magnets. Let's go ahead and put it about right there. Oh my gosh, can you hear that? <laughs> It is really strong, you guys. It is not going anywhere when I open my freezer door. Look at that. I just really love this. I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. I had a lot of fun making this, and it was a great way to display my minis, my Halloween minis. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you have a great day. Happy Halloween, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.